Hello and welcome back to another one of Paul's Beer Reviews. Today I've got a beer for you from Thornbridge and it is a bottle of Zara. Zara, I'm assuming the T is silent. Um, this is a Köln style beer. Köln is in Germany. So um, a German style beer. It's coming in at 4.8% ABV. Uh, Thornbridge, there is the bottle cap. Thornbridge beers. Um, a lot of good things are said about Thornbridge beers, though I'm I'm yet to really have one that I've been really impressed with. There is the the artwork uh, for statues and things on their beers. That is a woman with her boobies out. So there you go. It's a three thirty mil bottle. Uh, what does it say? Zara is a hybrid beer, fermented like an ale but matured like a lager. Pale gold in colour, this is a delicate, crisp and refreshing beer with a slightly bready maltiness. Uh, hops, it says Halatau and tradition hops are used. Well, Halatau are American. I'm not sure uh, where tradition hops are from. I'd have to look at that. So this is a German style beer with using American hops. Okay. Ingredients, water, barley, wheat, hops and yeast. So yeah, 4.8% on this Thornbridge beer. Let's get it out of the bottle into the glass and see what we get. There we go. No idea what a cone style beer is. What a cone style beer should look like, taste like, anything like that, but um there you go. There it is. And there's the beer. That looks like a lager. If I'm honest, quite light in colour, light sort of pale straw in colour. Um, that's pretty much a very clear looking beer. Um, decent levels of carbonation. Stick of the bubbles rising up the glass. Their head has disappeared pretty quickly. Um, let's get an aroma if there is one. Mm. A slightest bit of fruit, slightest bit of hot, but it's disappeared really quickly. Chucking it all over myself, dear idea. Not much. Smells a little bit like a lager. Um, yeah, let's get a taste, shall we? That's, that's not a bad lager in general. Um, fermented like an ale but matured like a lager. Um, it's very lager in characteristics. Um, it's very lagerish. It's quite drinkable. Decent levels of carbonation. Uh, it's a little bit of fruit. Not particularly citrusy. There's a, nah, there's a little bit of uh, sweet. It's hard to pick out what it is. Maybe, maybe a slightest bit of orange. Slightest bit of orange peel in there. And then you are getting a little bit of maltiness that they said on the, they just uh, mentioned on the bottle. Slightly malty, no real hoppy finish to it. I think the main, there, the main flavour to this beer is that malty. That malty bit they mentioned, kind of mid palate, but it's blinking it's gone you know um there's a slight bit of fruity freshness it's quite crisp it's quite refreshing but it's drinkable 
it's very drinkable, like most lagers are. Um, very easy drinking, no bitterness on the back end whatsoever. You're not really getting those hops that they've um, mentioned on the bottle. You're not really getting any of that in the flavour. Um, yeah, slightest bit of fruitiness, but it's mainly about the malt. Slight, it's very subtle, the fruit at the beginning. Slight, uh, slight sweetness from the fruit at the beginning. It's not particularly citrusy. And it's quite malty. Mid palate, sort of the side, the middle of your tongue. It's quite a malty, biscuity malt taste to it. And then there's no hoppiness or bitterness to it at the end. Um, it's not unpleasant. It's quite drinkable. Um, I got it nice and cold, and any lager style drink that's cold will go down easily. Personally, for me, I won't turn down a cold lager any day. So, um, yeah. Um, I'm disappointed again. I hear so many good things about Thornbridge. Um, all these supposed beer experts and you know beer fans and everything. a lot of people seem to be going on about Thornbridge but they can't do any wrong and I've, I've had three I think three of their beers now I've had their Melba I've had their Jaipur and I've had this one now Zyra and um, I've not really been particularly impressed with any of them um, that's a bang average beer for me that and it wasn't cheap Again, I got this in m and I think. I think I bought it at Marks and Spencer's. And it's, say, your standard kind of £1.80 for, uh, for a craft beer bottle. You expect to pay a little bit more. Um, but I'll say, that's, that's three Thornbridge beers I've had now. And I've not been particularly impressed with any of them. So the... My hunt for a good Thornbridge beer continues. Um, all gone. It was refreshing. It wasn't unpleasant. It just... Um, it kind of has the... The maltiness... Uh, in the lager. In the kind of the same way that Brooklyn... Brooklyn lager... Uh, does it remind me a little bit of Brooklyn that maltiness Brooklyn lager has a bit of depth to its flavour um, but it doesn't have like the kind of citrus refreshing fruitiness that the Brooklyn lager has it's missing that initial bit it's kind of slightest a very subtle bit of sweetness when you first put this you first ditch your tongue and then it's all the malt and then there's no hoppiness no bitterness at the back end it's uh yeah, I just, I just, I just think they've cut back a little bit. It's not, it's not, it's not great. If I'm honest, it's not unpleasant, but it's not great. And I'm, I just, I can't expect a bit more from a brewery that have been so highly regarded. Um, but yeah, uh, rating, it's bang average, so I'm gonna have to give it a bang average score. So I'm gonna give it a five out of ten. Um, five out of ten for Thornbridge Zara. Um, yeah, not unpleasant, but it's just not not good enough to warrant the price um or to turn your back on other lagers because it's just not as good as a lot of them to be honest with you um but there you go um yeah five out of ten for thornbridge zara um have you tried this one before what did you think um yeah i don't know what to say just a bit disappointed again with thornbridge but there you go but yeah give the video a thumbs up leave your comments below let me know what you're drinking any requests, of course, anything you fancy me reviewing that you quite like or whatever, let me know. And uh, I'll be happy to, to happy to do that for you. But until then, I'll see you on the next one. Cheers, guys.